That's great. Okay. So, uh, Brett, I didn't want to start with drama shit. I thought I'd ask you some questions about, uh, you know, your stances on things so that people kind of get a sense of who Brett Keen is. Uh, and obviously I don't want to spend too much time, you know, but uh, so I kind of keep your answers uh, somewhat brief, but not, not like, you know, too brief. Uh, so first of all, Brett, you challenged the uh, scientific community on several issues, uh, such as the Big Bang. So I'm hoping that you could uh, please erudely explain your alternative to modern cosmology. Go. Whenever it comes to the concept of God and how it works with the Big Bang? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, by definition, the supernatural is beyond the laws of nature and space and time. Uh, whatever yeah. the mechanism is that created the universe, it would have to be outside of nature itself. It would have to be an eternal mechanism that is not affected by the second law of thermodynamics. So, a lot of the attributes that whatever the mechanism would be fit in with the concept of God. And that's the reason why I, I discuss that and put forth that point. Supernatural is beyond scientific understanding, laws of nature. Nature didn't exist, therefore there wasn't any laws. Now who knows, science might in the future figure out some kind of nature outside of the universe that we've never even heard of, mm -hmm. but right now, it, it fits well. <clears throat> I don't know how it fits well when it defies all the laws of physics, but... That's the point. Uh, it's, you're basically, you're basically just, just saying great googly moogly outside of everything that we can test and observe did it. So, okay. Cool. Well, right. there, there's so, more, uh, there is more to it. I, I, I do have a, a follow-up question. I'm going to allow you to, uh, to uh, expand on that a little bit. I do have another question on the uh, Big Bang. So if the Bang, ba Big Bang uh, is not true, what is the real source of the uh, cosmic background radiation left over from the Big Bang? Because I'm sure you, mean, you, you know a good bit about the Big Bang theory, so you know that one of the reasons they believe it happened is they can see the, the cosmic background radiation, they can see the, the planets moving further apart, stuff like that. Um, how do you explain that? Is that like a byproduct of God's creation, or is that there? Why is that there? Well, I believe the, the Big Bang model of the universe, I do accept that, and I accept the expansion of space and time and nature and all this. I'm just saying that the mechanism that produced the properties and the energy that caused this is supernatural. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the date sex machina. Got it. Yeah, yeah. okay. okay. Uh, so uh, you also discarded the theory of evolution. Uh, could you explain the theory of evolution to our viewers as you understand it? Well, if anybody out there has ever read a book called The Descent of Man of Charles Darwin, he was actually convinced that there may be some intelligence behind the process, the, uh, the abiogenesis, that there had to have been some intelligence behind it. And that's pretty much where I am. I believe that if evolution Ape were to be true so or it isn't, whatever the you're case... Saying you're saying you're a theistic evolutionist now? Huh? Or... Are you, Are you saying, saying you're a theistic, theistic evolutionist, evolutionist now? Because that's, that's kind of different, different than what you said in the past. No, I, I, I have a lot of questions about evolution, and we discuss it all the time, but it's not something that bothers me if it were to turn out to be. Well, the, the, the question was, Brett, right, could, could you explain what you understand evolution to be? What, what, you, ever, what, what you understand, understand since, since you spend so much time debunking it and talking about it, can you explain people what you understand the scientific theory theory of evolution by natural selection is? It's the gradual change over millions of years of time, and in some cases, of course, if you mix abiogenesis, the origin that they claim, then it would be 4.5 billion years the age of the Earth. Uh, well, well yeah, the evolution, evolution has nothing to do with abiogenesis. But well, of course, you'd have the, the, the guess, evolution in there in order for it to be able to... Well, no, 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 no. Evolution, evolution deals with... with anyway, it deals, it deals with the things that are here. Let me ask you about evolution, Brett. Do you believe in uh, microevolution, for sure? Because, I mean, that's almost been conclusively... That's, That's been, been like proven in labs. labs. I mean, they can see that even between generations, generations of like quick living organisms, like bacteria, bacteria, and bacteria, and bacteria they, they can observe changes happening in those organisms. Uh, so I guess my question about that is like, if you can accept the premise that um, small change, that you know, small changes can happen over relatively small increments of time, why not large sweeping changes over large increments of time? Well, the small, state, the small changes always seem to stay within the, the types or the kinds. But I haven't, I mean, one of the big things about the theory is that you can't observe any of this actually happening. They can pull up fossils <coughs> and all this. But if you want me to, I can give you an example. 
the wise personal experience the best metric to determine if evolution is true or not? I mean, personal experience is going to be very flawed. I mean, if this takes place over a large period of time, no, no one person can observe all that evolution, or that wouldn't even be possible. There's, there's no, there's no observable evidence of the evolution actually taking place. Science daily. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Did you have something? No. Yeah, go ahead. I just want to make, make that one point. Go ahead. Well, I like for instance the evolution of the whale. They claim that at some point in time this creature evolved, came up on land, turned into a. Hold on a second. Turned into a, a creature that basically had hair, legs, a whole nine yards, and then ended up coming back into the water <laughs> later on and becoming a whale again. This, well, it's, 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 it's not a claim, claim though, though, right? It's, it's, it's based, based on, on that, 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 that the science has long, long, long ago moved on from the fact that at one point whales walked on land. All right, but would you be able to tell the ancestor of a whale was a land creature that went back to the ocean? Yeah. Yeah, if you I mean, we're talking about billions, billions of years. If you, you can put, you, you just, you just admitted, admitted that you can. It, it didn't turn into the red right. shared a common right. ancestor. It, 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 it didn't just morph into a whale. whale. We're well, talking actually, about slow incremental claim. change. What? what? That's what they claim. They claim that the whale over the came up on land. Over the course of billions of years. Over the course of billions of slow incremental changes. Right. But they're claiming, they're claiming, they're claiming that the creature actually came up on land and then returned into water later. Yeah, and not one creature. I mean, this, this is what I'm talking about, right? When you talk about evolution, you talk about it like it happens like a frog becomes a monkey, and then the monkey becomes a man. That's not, we're talking about billions of years of fractional change. And tons of different generations. And tons of, untold generations of life forms. Mutation. Like, you just, you just said you accepted microevolution. Like, when you can take something in the lab and put it under different uh, conditions, and, and watch it change to adapt to those conditions. conditions. Why, Why does, does it work that way over a short scale, scale of time, but not over billions of years? years? All right, well, I, I can prove my point real quick by just simply asking for you to show a transitional fossil between the whale and this creature up on water. Can you show something besides a cartoon or illustration? Uh, not, 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 not as well as Google, Google can. can. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, you can look look up trans if you, you want, want to look up transitional fossils, fossils of, of fossils of the animal that, 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 that the whale descended from, I'm sure you can find them, Brad. I mean, I, I've already looked at I've, discuss, I've discussed this for many hours with people, and I've literally given tons of them. It's like, like I, 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 I even like, what is your definition of a transitional fossil? fossil? Would it be a fossil that's like half whale, half other thing? thing? I mean, like, does it have to be like? I mean, because you know that every fossil is just going to be of a particular species. Are you are you, you know? familiar with atheist Aaron Raw? Uh, sure, sure, yeah. Okay, so I had a, a discussion with him over in a room at Nadia Chambers, that uh, that woman I was telling you guys about. Aaron Raw. Yeah, sure. Atheist Aaron Raw, and we talked, and he even made it clear that they don't have anything like this. They're just theorizing that this could have happened because of the nubs <laughs> on the whale. Uh, no, 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 it's, it's just, just it's like, like, look, uh, I, I, I almost assure you that's not what he said. Yeah, yeah, but, but, uh, well, you know, Brett is, is not a scientist. I do have some non-scientific questions for Brett, though. I want to move on to science here, because Brett obviously is not a scientist. We're all rocket scientists here. Now, you are a writer, Brett. You've written some books. We've read the show a few times. When I was a teenager, yeah. Yeah, yeah, as, as an, an, uh, well, you know, as as an, an author, author uh, what, what books do you enjoy? What authors, authors do you enjoy? Well, what do you read? Do you, do you read? read? Yes, I do. Um, one of my favorite books is George Carlin's Last Words. Last, Last Words, words huh? I haven't, I haven't read, read that, that, but um, uh, I, I, was I was a big, big fan, fan of George Carlin as well. As well. I, uh, what else like, like? I still am. I'm also a fan of Bill Hicks and uh, a lot of his material. Oh, that, that makes, makes me sick. sick. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I know you guys are fans of wrestling, but I, I actually like Mick Foley's books. Yeah, yeah I, like I like Mick Foley yeah. too. It, it makes, makes me. It just, just grosses me out if you, you like, like things that, that, that are cool. cool. Brett likes the Undertaker too. You're supposed to, you're supposed to hate everything, everything that's, that's cool. cool. Like you're, you're supposed, supposed to go, Bill Hicks is stupid. You're not supposed to like Bill Hicks. No, uh, is awesome. So, as, as a Trump, Trump voter, uh, what do you think about protectionism in trade? trade? Is, is that, that important? important? And uh, could you, you excite an example as to why or why not? Of course. I, I feel that it, it, we got to open up trade. I, I like the idea of them talking about bringing businesses in and doing this. I think that we've mm. lost a lot. We've lost a lot of jobs out there, exactly as he's put forth. And, okay. okay. Uh, what, what is, is that? that? 
Oh, that's, oh, that's the key to the wall. Oh, okay. oh, that means we have to take, take a shot. shot. Just out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, out there. there. Someone have to do that. Sit there, there out there, individual, individual situation, like, like any keenism that you draw. I don't know if we can make, make that, that for him, him cause cause then, then he can like, manipulate that. Yeah, he'll be like, search your wife and then we'll be drunk as skunks in 15 seconds. I think it should only count for the ones that are actually in the dinner. Maybe. It sounded like a dinner bell to me. I thought it was mac and cheese time. Uh, uh, Brad, uh, you are so aware. It, he's making it his own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, the question, question was about protectionism, though, Brad. Um, um, protectionism as in, like, do you think that the government, government needs to be more involved in trade or less involved and just let free trade, trade happen? I think that the government needs to be smaller and get the hell away from all of it. It's caused too many problems. Because you know that Trump really advocates more government intervention in trade, not less. Right. He wants to regulate trade in a big way. Well, I mean, he, he is Donald way. Trump. He he uh, he knows a hell of a lot more than a Brett Keen does. So we'll see what happens okay. with all that. So uh, what do you think are the major underlying factors of the uh, conflict in Syria? I, I know you don't know anything about this, Brett. I'm just <laughs> um, All right, here's an insulting question. Uh, do you think your son's frequent drawings of uh, Link from Legend of Zelda are a latent manifestation of repressed homosexuality? No, oh, that's, that's a good question. <laughs> Come on, guys. That, my, yeah, you my, digging deep there. My, my, son <laughs> know, draws, right? my son draws Assassin's Creed. He does a lot of video game characters. So he's got, there's, a, there's a lot of other guys he likes, too. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, come on. <laughs> it's okay to be gay, Brett. It's okay it is okay. It is. I, I have no issue. As far I have as no I know, Brett Keen's gay. son is not gay. I'm just joking. Right, right. We're, we're fucking around. I don't want to be a gay. He actually, he, he, draw, he draws Link better than I could. So I got to yeah. give him that. Yeah. One yeah. Of, his son has talent as an artist. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's another uh, it's another Keen, Keen family member that uh, shines brighter than Brett. Yeah. Yay. Oh, Are you the black... Would, uh, Brett, what, what is your family like, actually? Like, uh, what what is like the extended Keen clan like? Are you like, what, what's your position in the family? Are you like more of a black sheep? Are you obviously, patriarch? I'm not expecting you to sit here and like reveal all your family secrets or something. But just like, what's your standing in your family? Are you connected to your the Keen clan, or is it just kind of something that you took the name and not much else? Uh, my family is very small. Um, a lot of my family members are either passed away or they move, uh, they're, they're far away in the United States of America. I've got my brother, I've got my younger sister, got my two kids, my wife, and um, that's, that's pretty that's much about it. it huh? yeah. Yeah. So it's not a big, you don't have like a big extended family then? Uncles, aunts, cousins, you don't see them, you probably have those things, but you, you're saying they live elsewhere. Yeah. You don't see them often. Okay, okay. cool. I, just, I was just curious about that. It's not too far from me. Personally. It's not even like a gotcha type of question. No, no, that's I'm just honestly interested. Yeah. Genuinely curious. Do, do you have a reputation in your family that you, like, I, I, I've kind of been coming to the grips, uh, coming to grips with the fact that I'm probably the black sheep of my personal family, right? Everybody else has got kind of a normal nine to five job and I'm a pot smoking bearded hippie that makes fun of people on the internet for a living. So I'm kind of, the, are you the black, are, are you the black sheep of the Keen clan? Do you think, Brett? It's a it's a small family. Uh, my brother and sister. We all love each other. We try to take care of each other because we're we are literally all we have. So a non-answer. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> Figured. <laughs> all right. Uh, now's the time to to dive into the good stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at some of Brett's videos. Yeah. We got some. We we have a fine selection. You know, I mean, honestly, Brett, you know, you should have paid me for this opportunity because usually we just criticize you and you're not here to defend yourself. But this time you're you actually have a chance. here. Yeah. A chance to defend you yourself. can let us know where we're wrong if you feel like we're wrong on something. Yeah. So uh, let's take a look at some, some of Brett Keen's situation. situation. No. Check out the beautiful castle. <sighs> the individual Brett Keen segment situation. How did they get that audio of, of Brett jerking off? You know what I wonder about oh. Brett? Uh, Brett, can I, I have another question for you? Sorry. Sure. Um, no, no. It's, it's a, I think it's a good question. All right, go ahead. Brett, like, a lot of times when we do stuff that's like, you know, we have you jerking off in this intro or something, you get this look on your face like, oh, I can't believe they're doing this. How tasteless. But, like, you're a Slayer fan and what, shit. What he's... I mean, like, Slayer is fucking hardcore. And you, you listen to some bands that have got some flags pretty, all of those hardcore, videos. hardcore, dark lyrics and shit. All of those fucking videos where, where it's, it has him saying stupid shit. I mean, Bill Hicks and George Carlin yeah. aren't fucking family I mean, friendly. You just said you like them. To, so, bu like, to build on this, like, back in the day, Brett, you were kind of the atheist badass on YouTube. You had a trench coat and you fuck you and you were you were the guy that burned the fucking Bible first. 
You know, why are you so sensitive all of a sudden, manatee? Like, why is every little mean thing we say about you affect you to the point where you're crying on cam and shit? What it, happened? It's not a, Did God's it's not love a, change you to a pussy or something? Like, not, what happened? It's not a, a sensitive thing. I mean, it's I, I guess it's with the company of people. Whenever you know people are having a good time with you or your friends or whatever. But, I mean, come on, let's face it. Obviously, I'm here to be on the hot seat. That's the point. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Well, w w you know, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really not trying to even, like, maybe, I don't know what, I can't speak to anyone else's goals here, but my my goal is not even, like, put Brett Keen on the hot seat. No. I really just want to pick your brain to kind of try to understand better, like, your psychology. Sure. Because, I mean, there's things about it I feel like I get, and there's other things I feel like I don't get. And we spend so much time watching you and stuff. I mean, the reason that Paul's ego and I are so fascinated by you is because... You know, when we were first starting out as channels, like, you were a big channel on right. YouTube, and we were both, like, looking at your videos and really into your shit. So, and now and then, and then now our opinions of you have, like, so flipped, and we've seen right. so many things from you that we consider to be dishonest and shit that it's like, whoa, this guy we respected is, like, totally a piece of shit. So, <laughs> I want to understand, like, you know, is, is he, I mean, like, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm looking for, like, some redeeming character trait or value. Like, is there anything actually good about you? Well, we, we'll dig into it tonight, I guess. I mean, like, so I'm, I'm not even interested in making you look bad because you've already done that for yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually more interested in seeing if I can make you look good in any way, because that's the bigger challenge at this point. I, I think starting off the night with a conversation about lawyers would be a good thing. Brett, you have oh, several times over the last year threatened to personally sue me uh, for things that I've said on the Drunken Peasants yeah. and on my Twitter. And I have repeatedly asked you to send me your lawyer's contact information or a docket number so that we can get the ball rolling. Uh, but it seems to be kind of a pattern for you, Brett, um, because we have uh, – I think we pulled an old video of you talking about possibly winning a lawsuit against YouTube where you talked about how you had gotten a lawyer. And, uh, well, anyway, I think we have that in our list of shit. It should be uh, – you know, something about his, hey, and, uh, something about Paul, his lawyer. Paul, 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 to be clear. Yeah, there it is. Paul, to be clear, you've Down never gotten any contact information from a, a lawyer, correct? I've never heard back from Brett, no. Never gotten any What's contact What's the name of your lawyer, Brett? Yeah. Not going into all that. Well, I mean, we're going to have to when you sue us, right? I yeah. Mean, your I mean, lawyer like, and our lawyer your, are going to... Your, well, your lawyer's on, name isn't confidential it's when not. you sue the, someone. The, the, lawyer, <laughs> the, the lawyer thing I've been doing recently was over having a problem with someone leaving a death threat on uh, the answering machine. That mm, that's not what you said recently. You said that you were getting a lawyer to help sue us for using your, con for using your content yeah, and for slander and libel and all this other shit, right? I thought yeah, about liability it, yeah. and slander. I <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this video. Yeah, let's right. watch Brett, this. this is an old one. This is a chestnut. This is Brett Keen is suing YouTube. Cool. Hello, folks. This Looking is good Brett there, Brett. Keen, and, uh, well, comparatively. Good news. That's fairly good news. Kind of aggravating, too, at the same time. <clears throat> I'm a... Uh... Why don't you wear the hats anymore? I was Brett? wondering that, dude. I was just looking at that hat. I'm like, you know, that that hat's actually got a little bit of Brett Keen style swag. Yeah, you know? man. It, it's it's uh it's uh, Samuel L. Jackson's hat, man. Yeah, yeah, man. dude. He wears those Kangol hats. Why? You still have that hat, Brett? You need to get one of those, man. I, I think technically I was wearing the hat before Samuel Jackson. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. Trendsetter. Shots fired, uh, Samuel. Right I mean, now that your hair is more white, I think a black I've version of this would be like almost a negative, you know? Lawyer. And trying to figure out what I can do about some of these assholes out here who are slandering my books and <laughs> things that they've been doing, especially with digging up private information and all that records going on. So at yeah, one I'll point, at one point, you were going to sue people for slandering your books, which you now admit yeah. were complete garbage. He also said something about digging up private information. That's interesting. Yeah, we'll, that's another good we'll, one. We'll, we'll talk about that later. Sure. Uh, but slandering – so you were at one point, according to this video, Brett, mm -hmm. looking in – you'd already talked to a lawyer about suing people for slandering your books. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I tried to get a hold of the lawyer, talked to a lawyer about doing it. He said that I could possibly have a good case, all that lawyer bullshit. But he turned out to be useless. Got it. Okay, so you I, did as, actually as you get a lawyer. Know, as you all know, I am a poor son of a bitch. I have a very sure. Time well, that's the kind of a point because I, as you well know, Brett, I was recently yeah, divorced. Lawyers, lawyers ain't cheap. Uh, you 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 talk about my recent divorce all the time. Lawyers are not cheap. They, they they're very they're very expensive. So, for you to come on and, and say you need money to buy your kid a hoopty car to drive around college in, 
and then talk about having a lawyer every five fucking days. It sounds a little like a lie. Well, I, con- I, contacted a lawyer. I contacted a lawyer. He said he would be able to do pro bono. But it pro bon- it, so a lawyer was willing to take a pro bono yeah, case? Then, so he yeah, thought yeah, you yeah. had such a fucking good case that he was going to work for free? Yes, the case with the person making the death <laughs> threats, that was good. But dealing with the Internet, cyber crimes are not taken super seriously, on the, uh, at least in America, not, too, not yet. Really? You don't think so? So you think you've been the victim of a cyber crime? Yeah, what are the crimes? Well, I, I consider, What cyber crime I, I are consider, you the victim of? I consider people stealing the content and doing some of the things they do is wrong, terrible. So what we're it, doing, it's like when we, so when much, we pull... It's not so much you guys. You guys, you do your silly stuff and we have our little back and forth. But some of your DP fans do some pretty damn awful right, stuff. Right, but to bring it back full circle, Brett, you said you were suing me. I have the tweet. Mm-hmm. Where you said, Paul Zigo better look out because he's going to hear from my fucking lawyer. Better lawyer up, Paul Zigo. Like you were going to – so you're talking about like, nah, it's your fans. It's these weirdos that I'm suing. But yeah. you have repeatedly threatened to sue me, TJ, the drunken peasants, as a, as a, as a podcast. On several occasions. So now you're changing that tune? No, now that I'm, we're here I'm with you, changing. you've dialed I'm back that rhetoric? I'm tune. I actually attempted to get a hold of lawyers, do things, and – the guy told me that uh, there was something good there, but you know how lawyers are. They're bullshit. You say you went well, through a divorce. You know oh, it's the lawyer lawyers that's bullshitting. I think it's the lawyer. Yeah, they are. They know how lawyers are. Yeah, 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 I, I, I think it's shocking, Brett, that not one of these lawyers that you've gone to that's willing to take your case has given you the first piece of advice that a lawyer would give you in an Internet crime case, which is shut your fucking mouth about it. Quit talking to these people. Quit making videos, calling them pedophiles. Stop what you're doing right now. Why why haven't you acted like a person who's talked to a lawyer if you've talked to all these lawyers? <laughs> I am. Because I'm telling you, I've been to a no. lawyer on two different occasions for two big things. I'll just be honest. Two big things in my life I've had to lawyer up for, Brett. Mm. And you know what the first thing that I was told by both of those lawyers? Any contact with the other party goes through me. you got something you want to say to the drunken peasants or wherever you're suing? It comes through me. You tell me and I'll let them know. Mm. So why don't you act like a guy that's talking to lawyers for a guy that's talked to? Because this is not the only no, video. Notice he said, Paul, he said he attempted. What is that? So what do you mean attempted? Did you call a lawyer? Did you write yes, to a lawyer? Yes, or talked to a lawyer, did an appointment, all this kind of stuff. And not but so but there, there, is a a, there is another side to it. Is I, I, remember <laughs> that there, I remember that there were good times and thought maybe there would be a way to be able to just get along and get through this bullshit. I don't want to well, have to go through all this nonsense. Yeah, n- neither do we. We don't like being threatened with lawsuits. So, so Brett, you don't flag our videos anymore, right? I'm not flagging your videos. You, you've never flagged our videos? I am not flagging your videos. Right. You, yeah, you, have, you, have, you, have, you have, ever, have you ever flagged a drunken peasant's video? My videos, however, have gotten flagged. I actually put screenshots. Have you, we haven't done it. Well, we, we have well Brett, it. actually, TJ has flagged some oh, of your you videos. Have, you have flagged, 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 okay. Okay. TJ has flagged. I flagged him for dishonest titles. And yep. he, and I publicly okay. told him I was doing it. You and, do use a lot of dishonest Paul, titles. And you, Paul, you tweeted out at me as well. You said, you said, go over and report his this water-headed idiot's fucking video. That's what you wrote, Paul. Yeah, yeah. I think at one point you were saying something like I was a fucking pedophile or you were calling TJ a fucking well, child let's rapist. Let's go back. Let's go back. And yeah, I was like, let's yeah, you know what? Yeah, Paul. but back, back to the start, yeah. Have you ever at any time filed a DMCA or flagged a drunken peasant's video, Brad? At any time? I mean, we know he hasn't filed. Well, maybe he's tried to file a DMCA. I don't know. Yeah, but early, then. early on in the drama, yes. You did. So okay. you did. You, you did okay. do some flying. Right, well, cool. But I, I, so I, I talked to, pers- talk to some of my friends out there, and they said, look, Brad, just let it ride and stuff. Maybe you'll get along with them one day. Maybe things can be settled, and that's what I decided to do. Now, now you now, realize... I would like to... Uh, I mean, I don't know if you guys are done exploring this. I, I, I did have a suggestion of where to move on to. What's that? It seems like Paul and Brad are having a little dialogue. I was thinking we could play... Paul's Ego, A Window Into Your Soul by Brett Keane. There's a couple of Paul's Ego videos. There's one you released today that yeah. says that I'm dragging the drunken peasants yeah, let's down. Yeah, that. Alright, take a that then. Alright. Like yeah. an anchor. I was not even aware of the existence of that. Yeah, yeah that's a new one. The Albatross are on our next ball. Wow, oh, that's loud. That Brett, you have some rocking intros though, brother. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I fucking headbanged your videos, bro. <laughs> 
I don't really know what they mean because they really have nothing to we do really with you. Do that because we're doing this on Goonie Yeah. We'll have to mute it. Hello, we'll ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV, TV Radio. Video. Make sure you check out my website, GodTVRadio.com, and connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Don't forget to check out my brother's YouTube channel if you're into heavy metal, uh, rock and roll, blues, Brett, and classic. Don't you think there's a better way to go about this? Yeah, Brett, I, I'm going to use this opportunity to say something to you. Yeah. And I've given you this piece of advice before. I don't know if you've ever heard it. But, like, your intros for your videos, they're so long, dude. I mean, like, they're cool sometimes, but maybe you should put that shit at the end of the video. And just kind of start, maybe you can play like a shorter version of the intro to begin with, and then like a, a longer version at the end, you know, for the people who watch it. Just because like, I mean, I'm just telling you because a lot of people, I think they, they land on your video and they see this intro, this big long intro and they kind of get impatient and go. Because you got to realize people on the internet have a short attention span. Yeah, your intro is way too long, dude. I would make it shorter if I were you. I'm just saying, I'm not even, I'm not even telling you that as like a... Yeah, that's real advice. Yeah, that's actually real advice coming from me. I, I, so, uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't know, take it if you want. That. But I'm just letting you know, like, I like them style and the, and, shit. And, the, and the check out this thing, check out that thing, check out I mean, this, that. Legal notification I mean, frankly, situation. You know, sometimes it kind of, I mean, I don't mean to insult you, I guess I don't really care if I do, but, like, when you have this big rocking epic intro and then you see you sitting in bed and stuff, it's kind of just like, whoa, that's anticlimactic. Uh, so maybe you have it at the end, so you kind of go off on a rocking note rather than, you know... Burn, yeah, rock and roll, and then, hi, I'm Brian. <laughs> <laughs> this is Prodigy. This is He's my there. brother. I also got a great and wonderful gaming channel ran by Mapsy, my real son in real life, as well as J-Dubs, who is also known as Brett King Jr. So, uh, so this, why, why, uh, why not run your own game channel anymore, Brett? Well, I've been doing a lot of the live hangouts, as you guys have complained. Jeez, this guy does hate our hangout situation. So, yeah, I, I do a lot of that, and um, unfortunately, you my lost, are you losing your interest in games, or what is, what's the other thing? No, not not that much. It's it's just a matter of sitting there doing all this other thing. Plus, my computer is absolute. Uh, it's shit. I, sitting well, there. Well, some of the thousand dollars then upgrade that rate, right? right? You ding the bell every time I say something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Fair not every time you say something. Every time you say sitting there, over there, <laughs> situation, individual. Yeah. Uh, All right. So, well, thank you whatever. for the warning, because I don't want to hear ding, 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 ding over. You'll know. All right. Uh, You'll hear it. Trust me. You yeah, can't yeah, help yourself. The title of the Paul is boring. So sure. Educated, <laughs> intelligent, and just a roundabout fun guy. I just wanted to share some facts with you guys out there. <laughs> about Paul's ego. Okay. I'm going to his channel here. Let's do you know this something? Fucking shit eating bread, dude. I know. <laughs> Always what, a piece of, what a piece of shit Paul's, Paul's ego, ego. is. Yeah. When you look through his channel, he's been on the Drunken Peasants okay, for when was over... His, when was his last upload? It says 11 months ago. Yeah. Okay, okay, just want to point that out. Yeah. Maybe two Paul. years, I'm thinking. I don't know. Who gives a shit, really? Paul's pretty much the most boring and sucking guy on the entire channel. Wow. Like I told you all a while back, it's only most boring as you may charisma and his entertainment skills from the Amazing Age. Yeah, right. Yeah, this, this is one of the few things I agree with you on when, when you say that I'm the best of the Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I actually agree too. But everyone's hiding in my shadow. Yeah. You know? It's, it's nice and cool in DJ's shadow. shadow. Sometimes, Sometimes it stinks, stinks like farts back, back there, but otherwise I'm fine with being there. there. Those on Periscope last night, it literally in DJ's shadow. Just, yeah. It was like, I'm in DJ's shadow. Hiding in the shadows. Anyway. Oh, why the Drunken Peasant actually has any kind of draw at all. And I'm going to prove that. Okay. I've already yeah. talked a little bit about Scotty, and I've talked and joked about how Scotty lives in the shadow of his brother, but the fact is he still has TJ's genetics with him because they're brothers. He might actually have some potential one day, but right. all ego, <laughs> he's old, he's burned out. Yeah, he's not old and they burned out. You know nothing, Paul. The guy's been on a YouTube channel with a guy that's got over a million subscribers for the last... I haven't been on that. Well, he's only featured a couple of videos, videos on that channel. I haven't been on the Amazing Atheist channel. He's really. been around since the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. still only at 39,000. Only 39 grand. Take a look at the views on his videos. Take a look. Now remember, he's with the Amazing Atheist. Hey, hey guys. He's with the assistance hey guys. of Keith. Only 39,000. How many subs do you have? 
It's just say only 39,000. He, he, he goes, goes into it later. He shows he only has like 2,000 subs. So, well, what, well, so Paul is more than... Can Paul, Paul get... Uh, like, look, let's be honest. If, 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 if you guys are comparing subs, Paul, Paul can brag against Hitler. He's got 39,000. He's got 2,000. Right. Well, it doesn't mean his content is better. It just means more people have subscribed to him. I think Brett's point is that, like, I've been around forever. And he lost a bunch of channels. So if you add all those together, he's got more subscribers than me. Right. And the amazing ATL. Hi, he just said right. If you don't have it, if you don't have somebody to say, like, look, if I have all the money I had in my life, I'd be a millionaire. May I add something uh, real quick? The amazing yes, thing ahead, is that PJ, yeah, you ahead. actually said on video on one of your Drunken Peasants show, you know that if I wouldn't have got clobbered on YouTube, be a hell of a lot farther in. So you know that. Well, I, mean, I, I think, think it was, was different. You, 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 you clobbered, clobbered yourself on you. Like, 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 the, the, the problem with that, Brett, is, is that, that nobody clobbered you. You clobbered yourself off of YouTube. Like, like, you know, the reason that you're not more popular, that you don't still have the original Brett Keen channel, is because you fucked up. I still have accountability for I didn't drop docs, I didn't do all the bullshit, I didn't false flag people. I just, look, this channel that I have that only has 40,000 subscribers, you know what it is to me, Brett? It's a fuck around channel. It's a channel that I used whenever I felt like making a video over the course of fucking, like, since 2006, so like, fucking 10 years, where I just dumped the shit that I'm thinking about. And 40,000 people came along and thought that that was good enough to hit the subscribe button on. You, on, on the other hand, hand, have been, been trying to make money. I've never monetized a video on this channel. Never made a dime from the Paul's Ego channel. You, on the other hand, have been schlepping away for ten fucking years trying to make the dream happen. How is how am I in a worse place than you? Come on, Paul. This guy was just paid a thousand dollars. That's true. I have never hours of his time. I have never been paid five hundred dollars an hour for an appearance. You do have me there. Yeah, dude. I mean, you know, I don't think. I mean, you know, you've never gotten as much, Paul. Nope. You do have me there, salary. So. You're, You're making, making more money at once than I've, I've ever made, made from YouTube, YouTube at once. I'll, I'll give you that much. There you go. So that's, that's something, something right there. there. And he made a thousand dollars before. But, I, but, but I also never, never monetized, monetized the video, so that's not saying much. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it, you know, Paul, if you monetize your channel, channel like, you should probably still see residuals from it. I would. Like, look, the last video I made 11 months ago has how many views on it? I can't see from 32,000. Brett. How, How many videos, videos do you have to make to get 32,000 views? views? Honestly, be honest. So on your channel, when you're getting four, five, six, I know you show one in this video, uh, the big clickbait title video that got 100,000 views. You need at least six or seven. If you go to my most viewed videos, I bet I've got a pretty high one up there. Good. If you, if, 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 hey, uh, ben, can you check out my most viewed videos up there? Can you change it to most viewed and we'll see what, what the Paul's video top video is? We're looking at a, we're looking at a, that's Brett. Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, that's right. I thought, I thought we, we had, had my channel. channel. Never mind. Whatever. Whatever. And, and you call Brett. Brett. The, the point is, we, we went to Brett's channel right now and looked at how many videos he's getting. Or how many views he's getting per video. Something tells me 32,000 is not yeah. fucking all of Here's another, here's another place my hand on Brett's shoulder and act uh, and give fatherly. Really real fatherly advice. <laughs> Even though that's, I'm, he's the older than me, so it's weird. But, but, um, but it's Brett's shoulder, TJ. Brett, I mean, I, this, this is kind of a cliche, but you're only as good as your last video. Like, the past doesn't even fucking matter. And, like, honestly... Like, like there's, there's just there's a lot of things like, like that you could be doing better. better. There's obviously something about your personality that does compel people on some level, but um, you're just not you're not finding the right concept. Like, you know what I saw, Brett? Brett? Yes, yeah, so the, the other day, day I was showing this guy who's like a, he's gaming, gaming but, but no matter, matter what happens, whether he wins or loses, he just talks tremendous amount of shit and acts like you're God. Low tier God. I was like, man, this would be perfect for someone like Brett. Just sit there, play video games, and yeah, you're gonna play it. Yeah. Sit there, play video games, games and, you know, just, just fucking act like, act like a sore loser, loser and shit. And people don't watch you because they like you, but they watch you because you're compelling as a figure. You're like, oh, this guy is so delusional, but he's fun to watch. Like, you give a shit ton of views doing shit like that. At least more than you do now, now I bet. bet. But, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, don't I don't know. I, I will say this before you guys move to the video about how boring Paul is. The video with me and him playing <laughs> World of Warcraft actually did uh, pretty damn good. That was well, it's because I'm not a boring, boring person, person Brett. Brett. No, it was mostly because I mean, of me in the look, video, but I'm just saying. Do you, do you, I mean, honestly, do you, do you think, think that they, they brought, brought me on the show because I'm fucking boring? I mean, what do you... You know, what, what is the point, point of this video? video? Is it to make a conversation with Paul, TJ? Like, they make money. Let's watch it. Yeah, let's watch it. All right, all right, let's watch it. And in his star and celebrity power, Paul, he goes just going to not pull in the fucking... All right, come on. Ben, the charade can't go on any longer.
Well, oh, you are boring. boring. Well, you're the most boring ever. We, we only brought you on here to make the rest of us seem interesting by comparison. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Paul. I knew it, dude. I knew Brett was right. That's a little damn hog. not happening. All these videos are literally a year. But take a look at this. Most of you out there know that I've had many, many channels that have been flagged down or destroyed or whatever. And yet, a video that I got a year ago has. That's a bit selective. Brett, can, you, can, 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 can you admit the dishonesty of, of, of posting a clickbait titled clickbait thumbnail video called what is, what is it called? Baby Baby Survives, Baby Survives Abortion. And, you, and, and there's none, none of your content in that video, video Brett. You, you don't even speak. speak. You just, just reposted somebody, somebody else's fucking shit. shit. Brett, are you, are you fucking, fucking retarded? retarded? You're, You're comparing, comparing me to you and saying this makes you better than me. Because if you posted somebody else's shit and put a clickbait title on it and got 140,000 views, are you stupid? Paul, or, Paul, let me ask you something. Are you saying taking yes. content and putting it on a channel is a wrong thing to do? Take it, taking somebody's, somebody's content, content without commentary, putting it on your own channel and then claiming that it's your own? own? Yeah, that's, that's the, the wrong thing to do. do. Uh, I guess every once in a while I say this sucks. This is terrible. This is stupid. That way it'll it'll be okay. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's called, called that's called providing, that's called providing commentary, commentary and critique, critique which is perfected, which, which, which is protected under fair use. Yeah, and right? actually, it says, it says that, that in your disclaimer at the beginning of all your videos. Yeah, yeah. You, you have a disclaimer for fair use at the yeah. beginning of your videos. You realize that, right? Yeah. What's yeah. 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 the nature? If you do final countdown, did they give Brett permission? Yeah, you have permission to use the final countdown. In the beginning of your videos, videos with lightning, lightning Jesus and shit? It's a cover. Did you, did you film, film that lightning, lightning Jesus? Uh, the, uh, no, no, that's, that's from, from uh, Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth. Oh, did you get, did you get, get their, their permission to use Jesus of Nazareth, Nazareth in your, in your, in your intro, intro that you monetize? No, well, like you guys say, it's transformative. Oh, oh like I like you guys say, say. Like you've been saying we were wrong for fucking years now. But now we're right. All of a sudden. You, you fat, fat fuck, fuck, dude. <laughs> what, a, what, a what a piece of shit, of shit you are, Brett. You, you just cannot, cannot help but spin, spin your wheels in the mud. Uh, uh, anyway, anyway, let's, let's watch, watch some more of this horrible video. video. You know, uh, I, I feel, feel like, like I, feel I feel like want to comment, Brett, Brett, on one other thing right now. Because I am trying, trying to find the positive. Pause, sure. Brett, you have, you're very tenacious. Give you that. Yeah. You got a sense of perseverance, man. Yeah. You were right about him standing up on the rock with the waves beating down on him. He really is like that. Like, like, he does, he does not, not give, give up. up. He's, He's a, a fucking Doberman. Doberman. I mean, it continues to rise. If you go to my, my Games to Love channel, as well as through my, my mom, or I'm going to see that I have videos of literally the world. And then I've only got 2,087. So look, if you're, 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 you're bragging about how much better you are than me, but your evidence for that is a clickbait video that you didn't even make. And a subscriber count that, that my little fucking niece could be with, with a school project. project. Let me just ask Brett, Brett a direct question. question. Brett, would you say that uh, 140,000 views is average on videos that have been on your channel for a year? Yeah. yeah. You, 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 you pull out about 140 a video or so? No, I guess, can we, can I, guess I, play look at that? I guess some decent views are in some videos, but I, it could do, do a lot do? better on some ends. This is in what is your, what, what, what is your biggest hit video, video that, that you actually, actually made? Probably the one you showed recently. Well, I'm, I'm sure that you guys understand the logic here. You've been on a Drunken Peasants for two years with a guy who's got over a million subscribers. I don't understand why it's it's so small for you. Because, because, I, because, because I, don't, I don't... You, you, you saw, saw the pause? I haven't uploaded, 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 uploaded a video in almost a year, Brett. Brett. Anyone, Anyone who wants to see Paul's ego, ego is just going to want to come here. here. Oh, okay. We'll we get, get hundreds, hundreds of thousands of views, views per video. video. So, so Brett, Brett on, uh, on, on, Paul, on God, God TV, TV Radio... Okay. Or actually, this is Brett King Superstar. To that, to that channel, channel. Brett, Brett has been, been averaging uh, about five uh, subscribers a day. Nice. And views uh, 767 per day. Per day. So, so at, at his rate of two videos, videos a day, that's about, what, 400 and something views per video. video. What about, what about God God Hello, Brett? Brett? Cheers. Cheers. Channel. We got, we got God, God TV Radio, because that's the only uploads most of your shit to. Gord TV radio situation smoke signal individual. There we go. Or is that the same one? 
That's, that's the same, same one. one. That's, that's he. he he's gives got like, like several channels. He gives them confusing names and shit. Does anybody already take this? this? Yeah, 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 the, the one, one that looks like God TV really isn't God TV. Yeah. One is God TV Okay, go ahead. So Brett's averaging about 1,540 viewers a day. That's pretty good, Brett. 1,540 views a day. That's not totally. That's not. That's not dog shit. I mean, that's like, uh, you know, if you I mean, imagine that many people sitting in a room and listening to you talk. Since you've got Social Blade up, number. how many viewers am I pulling on my year-old content a day? Oh, that's an interesting question. Just just out of curiosity. It might not be what Brett's pulling. I don't know. I don't really check. Hey, are, are you guys either. asking me or is somebody else going to No, no, we're looking at Social Blade right now, Brett. Yeah, your channel is averaging 564 viewers a day. Wow, so Brett's outperforming me. All you got to do is make two videos a day, Brett, and you outperform me. Of course, if I dropped another video right now, I'd beat you for about eight months. Well, how come you don't but, yeah. do any videos anymore? Because I'm on the Drunken Peasants podcast, the best podcast in human history. Don't you listen to the fucking intro? Well, yeah, but I, 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 see, that, I see on uh, Twitter you've been doing Periscope. It seems like you'd uh, yeah. do better if you I put a video up. Different. Oh, I, have, no. I, have, I have fun on Periscope. You know, it's, it's funny, funny that you mentioned yeah. that, Brett, because we have some commentary that you and uh, your fellow toothless compatriot Von Helton oh. had about my periscopes. Oh, what, what did you say, Paul? Gums of a feather flap yeah. together. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Hmm. Cute. All right. <coughs> Hello, Trump ladies. Trump duck trickle down. <laughs> Trump duck trickle down. Yeah, skip, just skip into it a little bit because you got to find the part where my face is well, up it, there because it's know, a long ass yeah, fucking hangout. Skipping hang around the yeah, that's emotions not racist kind of bitch, in any because... kind of way, right? What's not racist? Oh, yeah. Here, now he's watching back. TJ's shit. Here we go. Take it back. Mm hmm. Did yeah. everybody take what? 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 Wait. Get Paul to move to Seattle. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna eventually. It's just it's a very expensive thing. We gotta, oh, gotta right. make Paul some money first. <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> Right, so anyway, oh you've been watching our content, uh, which I think is fine. You're kind of doing what we do to you. Yeah. But um, yeah. I'm not sure you're pulling the views we do, but whatever, you know, fair enough. Um, but we were watching earlier, I was kind of listening as I was pulling clips for this show, where you were kind of critiquing mine. You were talking about Ashley, how she looks like a mutated Cabbage Patch doll, uh, how she looks like she's 10 years old, and, you know, yada, yada, and how I'm corrupting her with drugs. Um, it was pretty, it was pretty, pretty cool stuff, right? I gotta admit. No, it's Let's good see. for the goose, it's good for the gander. Yeah, that's sure. It. Let's see. Yeah, it's because it's one of these long ass fucking dumb ass <laughs> hangout videos. Didn't they watch that last time we were there? Yeah. They, they watched and it you know, that. Brett gets a lot of mileage out of our clips and shit. So, well, we get a lot of mileage out of his too. Sure. I, think yes. I was there to say we get more mileage out of his. They call it that. Where we're, is we're it? Actually, I don't know. It's it's earlier. Yeah, it's, it's like early. around it's like the a, time. It's like around the hour yeah, mark. So, oh, it's like okay. an hour. Yeah. Where he's talking about me. But, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's I, I just thought it was funny. No, 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 no. I, I, I find it. It's that's my favorite this. video right there. Yeah, you like that one? That's a good one. Oh, yeah. um. Actually, love oh, you. Here. Oh, there we go. She does think you're sweet. I, I love them. Thirteen-year-olds love everybody, Paul. Do she does What do do? That's true. They do. I was just no. I was just telling them last night. Like they were all like blah blah blah, and I almost said like I love you guys, man. But then I was like, the truth is I don't like actually love you. <laughs> Damn, that's fucking. So wrong. you think that that's crazy? He only loves the people. Do you think that that's honestly a crazy thing to say for me to go like, I'm not one of those dudes that's on a YouTube channel going, I love each and every one of my subscribers and fuck, I love you guys, man. Because when it comes down to it, I don't. Like if they have a medical problem, I'm not coming out of pocket for it. You know what I mean? I like them. as pe Some of them are cool people. Some of them are assholes, though. Well, I, is it not, I, is it not cool like... for me to be honest about that? Do you love every last one of your 2,038 subscribers pers on a personal level? Some of them are trolls. Some of, their, some of them are there sure. for havoc and aggravation, so I get you on that. But I don't know. If it wasn't for the fans, none of us would exist. I agree. 
which is why I say I like the fans. I dig them. That's why I do these periscopes. Why do you think I'm doing these periscopes? I'm chilling with three or four hundred fans when I do these periscopes. They come to chill with me, smoke some weed, hang, talk out, you know, talk about shit. But I'm not the guy that's going to lie to their face and say, man, I love each and every one of you. I'm not a preacher, man. As I look out over this congregation, I can say that I love every one of you in this in this church as much as Christ loved the church. You've heard it, Brett. I'm not that guy. You want me to be that guy? I believe that you actually uh, love it. I think you enjoy the attention and love having people around you. I, I, I do that. like it. Of course. Brett, so do you, though. At, at least admit that yeah. you like attention as well, right? I, you like it when people comment on your videos, I, when they're talking about you, right? Everybody that does YouTube obviously has some of course. being seen and heard. That's what it is. You know, it, yeah, it's kind of funny. Yeah, no one um, does this without that inherent desire. When so. when we gave Brett shit about Happy Cabby, he was like, uh, TJ said horrible things about Paul's ego, and then he played uh, TJ's diss rap against Paul. like <laughs> Which like, was a total that, joke. Right, right. right, right. Well, not totally. I mean, that, that, yeah, but I mean, like rap. we were doing it for the fucking show. Yeah, that. that rap was a lot more hardcore than anything I've ever said. That was heavy. It was pretty no, rough. Was rough. Wrong. I mean, yeah. he, didn't, he didn't call me a pedophile in it, did he? I'm pretty no. sure I did. It was did you? Rough. Yeah. Sweet. I, I mean, I pretty much threw everything at you, dude. Right. I just. I mean, Brett, is that what you're doing when you when you call me a pedophile and shit? Are you just kind of joking with me, trying to get under my skin? Or are you actually trying to? Do you think I'm a pedophile? I guess that's the question I'm asking. I, I'll be honest with you. I think she looks a little young. Oh, my, right, but you know Ashley's. But she's in fact not. You, you know she's of age, right? Yeah. I, I she's 23 a, years old. She just turned 23. Well, then that's legal age, but she looks very, very young. Okay, yeah. but you but realize I, I that having sex with a 20. having sex with a woman that's 23 years old that looks younger than she is is not being a pedophile, right? Well, she did look like a kid to me, but if you're saying she's 20 feet, 23 she's years old. Oh, whatever. Kid, come on. No, she's saying. not like a kid. Come on. Dude, you guys have seen come her. You've seen her. She she come on. Come on. Seriously. Come on. Look at the fucking facts. There's no fucking way anyone would think that. She turned 23 no, no, in hold October. On. I'm not the only one. There's even DP fans of Yeah, you know. Age. She come turned 23 and Paul's been dating her for 10 years. Facetiously. So, if it's saying it, saying it facetiously. I started dating her Christmas of last year around that time. She was 22. Now you've been dating her for 10 years. Oh shit! I sorry. That's not. That's the, that was my. Yeah, that was my ex-wife. Yeah, who was also of legal age. And every every person I've ever dated. So so Paul. In my is, entire fucking life was of legal age. So so Brett, Paul is not a pedophile, right? He says she's 23. That's legal. Hold age. on, hold on. He's not a pedophile, right? If if, if it's right, true, I that have Ashley been is corrected. 23. I have been corrected. Okay. Awesome. So I can so I can look forward to uh, not hearing that anymore, right? That I'm dating I'm a twelve right, year old. I'm right here. I heard you say twenty three years old. That works. Thank for you me. very much, Brett. What a retard. Oh. <laughs> That's not fair. Not check is what he's trying to tell you. Don't be mean. <laughs> I don't even really like you. I don't know you at all. Some of you might be cool and some of you might be pieces of shit. Um but he just doesn't care, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, hey, uh, Vaughn, are you back? Or did are you, you just pooping? finish my sentence for me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Paul historian. Sure Man, I'm doing this all by so myself. To finish each other's sentences, dude. All right, fun. here we go. Let's hear some more boring ass Paul's ego. See, this is the reason why the amazing atheist would not have Paul's ego run the show with Scotty. Scotty lives in TJ's shadow, and he needs to have TJ there so he can echo everything he says. Uh, okay, and Paul, can you pause it real quick, Ben? See, I'm not bragging about this, but Ben and I ran the show alone without TJ or Scotty for about an hour on election day and broke our most viewed video count by a thousand or two yep. alone before the guys got here. Then when the guys got here, we doubled up. So this all we've also done. We did an episode without the guys when the guys were on vacation called the new and improved drunken peasants, 100 percent less yeah. TJ and Scotty. Yeah. And that's still one of our most viewed videos yeah. and, one, and I, one of our most well received. Right. May I say something real quick? I, I'm going to put this out there. If it wasn't for TJ, this shit wouldn't be happening. That's just the honest truth. Well, TJ definitely. Good point, has, Brent. Yeah, I mean, no. uh, TJ definitely has a part in it where his popularity. Uh, part. You are but apples that have fallen oh, from okay. the TJ tree. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Well, uh, we'll see TJ just try to handle everything on TJ, the show. TJ is an integral part of the show. Yeah. He's the uh, draw. Yeah. He's not, he knows what, he is the show. The thing about the thing about the podcast that like I don't think Brett Keen really understands. I don't think anyone really understands it. Is like when you work this closely together and rely so much on each other, like this becomes a family. Right. This becomes a a unit. There is a sense of everyone knowing what they need to do, and if someone doesn't do what they're supposed to do, the others get on their ass. Right. So. And everybody suffers if somebody fucks up. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. When, May I say when, something? Uh, I, I think that you guys work well with each other. You obviously spin off of each other. But I'm well, saying I'm that TJ, well, yeah, TJ, and, and, and TJ hold on, is hold the on, draw. Right. He is the draw, right. the main reason why any of this is happening. I'm he sorry. He is that's the draw. Incredible. That is true. Now, uh, just backing up, you know, we you said know, no, you, listen, there's a there was a point where I was the draw, but at this point, no, the drunken peasants is the draw. The drunken peasants is his own thing with its own unique fan base that doesn't necessarily even that, have that's a true. which well, includes and TJ. I, I would want to be that. on this show if one of these guys left. Because I, I think that the team well, that we have, Scotty, come on. No, no, I wouldn't even want to be, dude. Scotty's fucking awesome. Do you remember? Scotty's video, not integral. Remember the video See, Brett made? See, even the camera knows he's a piece of shit. You're flicking. Why, why, do you remember the why video? Uh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Brett made this this video complaining about not getting the contract yet, even though he had gotten the contract. And he was going through all the uh, DMs on Twitter between the two of you. And and you were saying, like, oh, I haven't talked to Ben yet. He's like, why do you need to talk to Ben? He runs everything. You could... What, what, a, what a strange yeah, assumption. Yeah, he just yeah. assumes TJ... In like, a giant really, collaborative effort, it's all just continued upon my whims and will. Yeah, because it's just your show, TJ. I you mean, run it. Well, would, you, would you guys I, be willing I, to do a, a, a small little challenge? should be very easy to do. Why don't you um, open up your own podcast, try to see what happens without TJ's help. I think you'll get views at okay. first because people will be interested. But sure. I, I want to see what happens, and I have, will continue. We have done podcasts I'll, I'll without tell you TJ. What, Do you what. not fucking listen? You no, know, he said it. He said that only he's going to work at first, but eventually they'll taper off. Right. So, I, so in order to take your challenge that you claim is going to be easy to do, <laughs> I have to open my own podcast and start running my own three times a week podcast. What on, what about that is easy, Brett? I don't think that, I don't think what, that the what that pro- no, no, no. Tell me what the process of starting a professional <laughs> three day a week podcast would be. Let's cha- uh, let's do a challenge will, to Brett too. One, uh, Brett, how, how about the win Scotty's respect challenge? All you have to do is quit YouTube and then you win my respect. There you go. That's your yeah. prize. That's <laughs> Who easy. knows? Who knows? I just want to see what happens there. Let's see if Ben, Scotty, speaking, and Paul. Speaking you guys of quitting do YouTube. It. Speaking of quitting YouTube, Brett. You have say, stated on many occasions that you're quitting YouTube. You're done. Yeah. Like, how over. Many, Brett, would you, how many times do you say, honestly, Brett, if you had to estimate, how many times do you say you've made videos claiming you're going to quit YouTube? Uh, probably, I would say, over 15 times. Over. Okay. I would, I would concur. That, okay. I would say it's yeah. probably closer to 20. Only to no, but that, that, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that, yeah. he, died, that he, he gave He's me. in the ballpark. I was, sure. I was like strapping myself into the seat for me, like, two, two or three. something. You know? yeah. Okay, but 15. What? Brett, why is that? I mean, like, do you, I mean, like, don't you think there's a, like a boy who cried wolf thing after a while? Like, no one really believes it after a while. Like, do you know when you put one of those out that it's not going to be believed? And do you believe it at the time that you posted? I, I do believe at the time. Sometimes, I mean, you know just as well as I have had a hard ass road on YouTube. Sometimes it gets exhausting. Sure. sure. Well, well, it's a road. That a lot was, of it is, is of your own. Yeah, creation. it was a road that was paved by Brett Keen. So. I mean, I'm not going to say that every single of Brett Keen's misfortunes is, is because of that, because I'm sure that some things, you know, there's always like, like what. I don't. What, I, I can't what, give you an example, but there's always things that are just going to happen to you in fucking life. Sure, but I mean, but, like, you know, the well, reason that Brett like Keen's that to me. is entirely shit is because he's always just doing the wrong thing. It's him. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. The common factor is you, Brett. You you are the common factor in your failure, because you. It, one of the things I wanted to bring up tonight was how you change seamlessly from villain to villain, right? So back in your atheist days, you used to talk about how Christians are flagging me off of YouTube. I need help because Christians are flagging me off or from YouTube. And then you became a Christian, and now you're like, it's the same thing. Atheists are flagging me or from YouTube. You know what I mean? It's just like well, I, I did assume that you conjure a fucking villain out of your ass and just apply whatever attributes you need it to have and call it that, that yo, that's an atheist. 
Well, I did believe at the time that Christians were doing it, but a guy got up on the video. I know you did. An, I, an, I atheist, an atheist got up on YouTube and laughed, and he said, I destroyed Brett Keen's channel. He admitted it. So I, I can't Whatever. accuse a Christian <laughs> if an atheist got up on video and laughed about it. This guy the, totally the, the, started the, 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 with his mustache laughing. I have destroyed I, mean, I, I, I saw a video of a dude the other day that said he fucked my mother. Now, I'm pretty sure mom didn't get fucked by some idiot on, on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I would have heard about it by now. You know what I mean? Like, do you believe everything that people say in a YouTube video? And I guess as a back to that question, do you believe every? Do you believe that people believe everything you say on YouTube? Because you deliver lies with such a fantastic sense of confidence. It's because of who the person was. The person was best friends with Coughlin. We were having a major drama at the time. He was pissed off at me for telling people to lay off a Thunderfoot and Pat Kendall. His friend got on video and said that he was going to take my channel out. And he did. That was the end of Mr. The, Evolution. The famous Brett Pivot Maneuver. Whatever. It's all ask, out I there. Do you, believe, do you think people believe you on YouTube? Do you think a good portion of people that watch credibility, Brett, Brett Keen walk away and go, you know what, that guy's telling the God's honest truth right now, man. He's a straight shooter. Do you think, most, do you think that's what most people walk away from your channel with? I think there's a difficult relationship with non-believers out there, but I get along with pretty much everybody else from the other positions. Well, do you have credibility, do you feel? A credibility of what? I'm a YouTuber. I upload videos. What do people know about me? What do people know about uh, well, you? I'm saying, do you think when you say something, do people believe you? Do you think that people trust what you say? They, they put trust in you? Do you of, have credibility of, course, in of course, there's some people who respect and trust me. Other people don't. Same with you guys. There's people like you. Some people think you're an ass. That's the way it is. It's YouTube. <coughs> oh, no, I did it again. Whoa. No, mac and cheese, dinner time. No, no. <laughs> Oh, was that a was that a phone? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we we have someone on the line um, from oh, shit. our uh, Pokemon. I think I just heard the doorbell too, so I'm gonna run and go get okay. that. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, we we do get random calls uh, every now and then on our Pokemon hotline, and I believe we have someone that we're gonna bring on the line right now uh, that has a tip for us. Hi, uh, caller, are you on the line there? Hello. Yes. 
Yeah. Like, like you, you look better with just the silver hair, man. I know, I know it's something that happened to you early in life, and I know you had to cover it up. You look, you think it makes you look older, but at this point in your life, the look you're rocking right now is ten times better than the look you're rocking as blueberry bread on screen right now. Violet Beauregard bread. You're violent, Violet. Her name is Kat. She is the one that originally announced that Happy Cabby had passed away. She has informed me that I'm really the only person out there that she trusts. So she's providing me information to prove once and for all, giving the enemies as well as friends and family out there closure that Happy Cabby has passed away. Some of the information is scratched out so people out there in trolls can't get personal information and contact. God, the music is so loud. What is this fucking music? So, so Brett, the, the reason we're showing this is because uh, you, this is a video, basically we're not going to be able to watch the whole thing. No, but I think, I think we got in a taste. Is this a video about you talking about what you consider to be an old friend of yours? Happy Cabby. Yeah. You're very sad to hear about his passing. It's a very, very close person to you. You spent a lot of years and a lot of hangouts talking with Happy Cabby, Cabby right? Mm. Did you, Did you ever treat Happy, Happy Cabby poorly, poorly Brett? Brett? Yes. Mm -hmm. You did. Can, Can you explain, explain how? Well, me and him ended up getting an argument. It tore me up whenever he did a, vo a video a while back where he was crying and all upset. Um, There's a lot mm. of things that bothered me throughout. That's interesting, interesting because, because we have, have that video. video. Yeah. Uh, uh, Happy Cabby uh, uh, in, in an emotional, emotional state, state that, that I think is visible to everybody. everybody. Mm -hmm. Talking about how you uh, made him feel as a friend, and this was, you know, a couple of years before he passed. So, right. Last night I was in a Google Hangout. Um, basically, I ran across a Google Hangout that was, you know, being broadcast, and it was um, like six or seven people. You know, this is all. You know, whipping up my friend, Greg King. So, you know, I, you know, had them to log into another account because my main account, you know, I'm not allowed to have a Google Plus. So I went in and I went in there and there's me against all these other people. I was not aware at the time that Brad was in there previously, but I went in there and I did, you know, the best that I could to defend my friend. Uh, later, um, Brad himself, uh, went, in, went into the room, uh, it turns out that was his second time in the room, and it was us. <sighs> Eventually, into, into the broadcast, I began to break down and I started crying. And what was causing me emotional pain was the fact that I was in there defending someone who I knew has been attacking me on his website and more than likely would continue to attack me on his website. So I sat there for seven hours defending my friend and when it was all over today, as I predicted, there were two new videos attacking me on this website. I've not seen these two new videos. So, does this like that? Question, question, Brad. <coughs> do, you you think, do you think it's a good friendly thing to do to piss on this man's grave now that he's dead and pretend that you were his friend? friend? When you made videos, when you when you when you made videos on your website calling him a pedophile, insinuating that he was dancing naked in front of children when he was wearing some stupid mankini for some stupid YouTube video he made, some challenge that he did. I mean, whatever Happy Cabby was, he was. I'm not defending the guy. He might have had some deep flaws. But do you ever feel like a fucking backstabbing piece of shit, bottom of the barrel snake? Nope. When, when you, you look, look at a man like this, this that you reduce to tears with your, your fucking just callousness and ugliness towards him? Nope. 
Um, the reason nope, why is because it's huh? actually the atheist community who exposed him. You can go over to Agent of Doubt, the atheist. See, I'm, not, I'm not casting, casting aspersions, aspersions about, about anything. anything. Do you want me you to are. respond? Do you, Do you understand, understand what I'm saying, Brad? No, actually, you're, you're actually, doing you it now. are. You are. You're the one that brought no, this up. Not. I didn't say anything about bringing videos up about this guy from years ago. This is you. Right. right. We're, we're, we're bringing, bringing this up to show, show, to show, show you and, and the people that And I'm bringing up Agent of Doubt, the atheist who what exposed them. What a you are. Popular, to people well that you known. consider friends. And, and how do you react when, when they die, die Brett? When, when this, this man, man passed away, away you, you made, made a bunch, bunch of videos, at least two that I've seen, going, goodbye, old friend. It was fun calling you a pedophile and dragging your name through the mud for years. Fun reducing you to tears on multiple occasions, old pal. Well, you can really have problems with someone. Stabbing cunt of a weasel, Brett. Are you willing to actually show Agent of Doubt's videos exposing that? No. That's we're not talking about, about Agent of Doubt. Doubt. We're, we're talking about you and Happy, Happy Cappy, Cappy, a man that you claimed was your friend. friend. The atheist community exposed him for the things that he was doing. The guy was very funny. So pull your bullshit. You don't know Happy Cabby. You don't You're know a disgusting, disgusting fucking piece of shit. No, you are a disgusting fucking piece of shit. That's what you are, you fucking flop. Wow. <laughs> Uh, uh, the between you guys. guys. The and you're not even willing to take a look. Dishonest. Okay. People. Sorry, Sorry Brett, what were you saying? saying? I'm saying yeah, Paul's yeah. fucking dishonest. I told you if you check out Agent Doubt, the atheist community exposed him. Brett, they showed what he was doing. I'm not talking about Agent of Doubt. doubt. I, don't I don't care what happy. I, I said, said I'm I'm not, not, I, don't I don't know what happy Gabby was in life. life. I'm, I'm saying that your credibility as a friend to this, to this dead, dead man that was showing on the video is zero. Old friend. Just because I had problems with him doesn't mean I was going to sit there and stain him whenever he passed. <laughs> hey, just, just like, like how Hulk Hogan was. Hold on, Brett. Hold on. Guys, you just said, said something, something very telling that, that we, we, everybody else might have glossed over. So you're not going to stick pins in a dead man, right? He was your old friend. You might have had some problems. You would not stab a dead man like telling us to go look at Agent of Doubt's videos that exposed him as a pedophile or whatever. So we could get a contact. So we could get a context right? of what is actually happening. You wouldn't stab a dead man in the back, would you, Brett? Like you've been let doing me, for the ask, last five let, minutes let me, live let me on the drunken peasants? Quest. Let me ask TJ a question real quick. I know that you've had... <laughs> Hold on. Go ahead. Paul's just going to continue Go to babble. You've, you've uh, had disagreements. Uh, Hold on. You've had disagreements with people in the past, like fake Sagan. If he were to die tomorrow... If something horrible happened to him, even though you had the disagreements and there's some things that really piss you off, would you not say, hey, he was an old friend. He was someone that I gave a shit about. Uh, they never said I mean, fake Sagan was a pedophile. I mean, I if, 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 He's got if fake Sagan, record. I mean, I'll answer the question. If fake Sagan were to die tomorrow or the case or whatever fucking name you want to call him, Chris, where the fuck? Smooth terror. If he no. dead tomorrow, I would not be emotion. I would not emotionally have any reaction because it's been too long since I even knew him as a person. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would say that I had good times with him and I had bad times with him, and I'd be honest about you know uh, what his flaws were, but I would also uh, you know say there was a time there were things I admired about him, there were things I liked about him as a friend. So um, yeah, I mean that'd be my. He response. still cares about you, by the way. I don't know if you realize that he still cares about you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Gross. Great. Uh, you know. Did you ever, you ever make a video about fake Sagan TJ calling him a fucking pedophile? In fact, multiple videos? Um, I didn't make, I mean, like, I, I don't know. I might have said some things about fake Sagan. I don't really remember what was said or anything, but. But all of it was actually based on what he did. It wasn't just, you were, you were making up shit whole cloth. Did you ever make, make up bullshit stories about you fake didn't Sagan? Need to. No, I didn't make up anything. Right. Okay. That's what I'm asking. Well, that's not made up. You can go over to the that Google you're you, talking that, about. That's not how you treat friends. Well, right? it, I mean, but the thing that is made up, Brett, is that you were his friend. I mean, like, you, you, you made videos that were very harsh against him. He clearly does not feel like he's your friend in this video. Right. But, you know, he died, and all of a sudden, oh, my, my dear friend is my gone. My dear old friend. And honestly, it was someone who you hadn't had friendly relationship with for a long time. An relationship. So, I mean, I think that there's just, you know, we, we, it seems like there's an element of dishonesty there. Right. There yep. was problems with me and Happy Cabby, but there's a lot of people who were sitting there saying the same damn thing, and it's proof over at Agent and Doubt's channel. He's got an entire series proving it. Sitting there. Yeah, oh, there, there was, was guys, sitting there. I'm to do the shot, TJ.
Even your, even your DP fans who used to watch him, they know. I've seen the comments. Even they realize what's up in the history of this guy. I, I did care about him. I cared very much. Whatever. He just told you me clearly fuck didn't. people over. I don't think you... I don't think... I, I think there are probably very few people... If it's anybody, an opportunity, Brad. That, yeah. I mean, he was... Yeah, Happy Cabby not only wasn't, wasn't just true. your friend. He ran a fucking channel for you for years because you were a person that was completely unable to keep your own channel. So he he ran the back end of your channel for you for years, and he wiped your ass with him. Paul, so wait, you're saying Brett exploited his death? Is that what you're saying? And then when he died, you took a piss on his grave by claiming you were his buddy, when really all you did was use him for your YouTube mule and no, then discard dude. him when he was no longer useful no, to you. I cared very much about him, but he, sure. he fucked up totally. Well, you had a very, if that's true, Brett, you had a very strange way of showing it. Put it that way. Oh, you know what? Here's another good one. So, Brett, let me just, let me ask you a question. So, did you care about him as you were making the videos against him? It fucking tore me up inside and aggravated me that he was like <laughs> All that. All right, okay. I, I, I had to make I had to make that. No, shit I, 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 I don't. I don't. Cool I don't. I don't Brett, I'm gonna ask you a question. Do you know? I mean, like, you know, I, I, I would believe you were torn up inside, except for like, yeah, Brett. I, I, this is all you do. Dude, Brett, Brett, have you heard of taking the high road? Even if it's like, you know what, Brett? If you really saw it from that perspective, wouldn't you just say, you know what? This person is in a lot of pain and suffering. I'm just going to take the high road and just not even respond right. to this. Like with me, for example. Let me let me give a personal example to you, Brett, that's very recent, okay? <laughs> so you and I are rivals or whatever, whatever you want to call us. Yeah. Frenemies, Brett. We're frenemies. Okay. When I got divorced recently, about a year ago, there were some people that were pretty nasty to me about it. You're on that list of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, you could have in that instance, kept your gob shut because you knew that you didn't know anything about what went on. Instead, you chose to make up a fantastical narrative about how my, my ex-wife left me because I didn't have a job, which is so inverse and far from the truth that I, it, it doesn't even resemble what happened in my marriage. You just told the entire uh, show out there, uh, we're doing a, like a private thing, right? So they'll yes, get later. correct. Now, you, you're the one that sat there and said I'm nothing but a pothead, bearded, or whatever, unemployed. Sure, I was, jo I was joking about my, I was being self-referential well, and self-aware and making a joke. You, say, you said that you were unemployed, you've said in video you have a hard time getting any kind of acting. When did I say I was unemployed? When? You had said because that. Because, hold on, Brett, hold on. By Wait, saying that you have difficulty. Can I, can I ask you, can I, can I answer something well, for you? Why don't you just answer the questions for me, Mr. Historian? Okay, fine. Go ahead, do I have it. never been unemployed for longer than two months since I was 16 years old. Well, Period. you're the one that said that this in videos. You sat there and said okay, you had well, a hard time I've never made a video work. saying, hey, guys, I'm an unemployed fucking loser. That's uh, you. I, I, I believe, yeah, Brett, you're unemployed. Yeah, you're un No, he's not. He does things. I'm, I'm not going to get, in, I'm not get into all that. I'm not getting into it. I'm not getting what, into it, Scotty. What are you going to reveal by saying, I have a job? What, what's, what is revealing about Yeah, watch this, Brett. For eight years, I worked at Starbucks. Oh! And then, for about eight years, I worked for the California uh, State uh, fucking educational system. And I was a technology consultant for the school district for eight years. There you go, Brett. And now, I work for the Drunken Peasants podcast. Mm -hmm. So I'm employed there, too. So, you, uh, there you go. Paul, now you're, you you're the one you that makes videos. You you're the one that's made videos over on your channel talking about how you see yourself as a loser and all this kind of stuff. I'm just Brett, are you talking about the video I made about depression, where I talked about yeah, the internal you're, you're monologue the, of depression yeah, and how it's constantly tearing you down? Is that what you're talking what about? You made the videos of sitting there saying you dishonest. And I and I would have never. Piece I would have never brought. This I never would have brought up your shit. Fucking ugly you shit. Blah 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 blah. So, you I mean, mean the video what, what where I talked about what it's like to live with depression? <laughs> oh, let's play oh I know what it's like to live with depression. But we, I'm have a, we have, a, we have a video uh, window into yeah. your soul by Brett Keen. Yeah, yeah so let's play take a look at what you think well, about that the video, Brett. That Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brett Keen from God TV Radio. Make sure you check out all the links in my description. Well, hold on. No, no. What, what's going on? Oh, he's just, he's just grabbing his monster oh, okay. energy such a way. Subscribe to all my other YouTube channels. And when you get an opportunity, go over to my brother's YouTube channel. Give him uh, some encouraging words. Anybody with ears can tell that he's a prodigy. He's a rock star. 
Today, I did something I haven't done for a very long time. I went over to Paul's Ego's YouTube channel, <laughs> and I listened to a video lie. he's got the first called lie. Paul's Ego's Window. Uh, can, you, can you pause already? He talks That's not what the video's called. The, call, the video's called A Window. I mean, why do you always have to why, – why can't you get even the basic shit right when you're covering somebody else's videos? It's called – I mean, if it was called like a window into my soul, the deep, dark dream of Paul – I could see you messing that up, but it's two words, a window. Sorry, you can Paul, say a window, I, can't I, you? Sorry, Paul. A window didn't, into it didn't my matter soul, that much Paul. To me. Say, go. It didn't matter that much. Go ahead. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. I agree. About days that he's stabilized, but on other days – there's a little voice inside of his head, his ego, his consciousness, the thing inside of him that basically reflects how he feels about my, himself my con truly. Did you mean my conscience? Whenever he's not doing YouTube, or even right before he's about to upload, is it even worth it? Is it worth his time to upload? Some of the fascinating things that Paul pointed out was he has a realization, an awareness, that the people out there who are watching him, they're simply watching him for entertainment, and he knows it. What else I was aware you? of that many, many years ago, <clears throat> even when I first started doing YouTube. I remember for the first year, I actually believed that all those non-believers that were subscribed to me and watching me, I actually believe that they did give a shit. I actually believe that they cared. But around the end of that first year, I started realizing that people were just looking for a mouthpiece. They wanted someone who wore the same label as them. All right, all right. They wanted somebody. So that, they're a bunch of conformists. What, what Brett is basically saying is that because in this video, like he, he puts it out like I'm saying these things about myself and that these are realizations about myself. When if you watch the video, it's actually me speaking an internal dialogue that I have that runs through my head when I'm really depressed, which is all negative. And it's a negative, constant monologue that tears down every good thing in my life and makes it ugly. Mm -hmm. So do you understand why this entire – you're sitting there nodding like a dumb fuck. No, do you understand I why this entire video that you've made – doesn't make sense because you act like I'm saying these things about myself when really I'm talking about a mental illness that I have that falsely tells me these things. Paul, you're worthless. You're scum. Nobody cares about you. You're ugly. You're dumb. Nothing you ever do will uh, come well, to anything. The ugly thing is true. Come on. Well, Paul, well, yeah, the ugly thing Paul, is true. that's one of the things that uh, you and I identify on. We both have severe depression. I, uh, I have my bouts and all that. That's one of the reasons sure, I identify so it, the Sure, so as a guy that claims to suffer from depression, it seems strange to me that you would make a video about tearing down another guy with depression saying that those things are actually true about him, which is what this video is. Paul realizes that he's worthless, youthless, stupid, nobody loves him, his wife doesn't care about him, his friends hate him. That's not the truth of my life. That's what depression tells me the truth of my life is. The truth of my life is, is that I have a lot of people that love and care about me. I feel like you project a lot of anger and nonsense onto me. That's, that's some of the things I got from the video. That's, it, that's it, is, it is a little lamb bread. Oh, man. Oh, oh yeah. fucking dollars yeah, in the entire wow. in years of being on YouTube. There's no money in it for me. There's nothing in it for me. <laughs> Ain't that for, true? Hopefully. Nothing, Brett. That's all you got. I'm trying to help people out there. <laughs> There's been a lot of Bullshit. people, Paul, that have come to me and stated <clears throat> on the God believer side as well as atheist side. And people of other religions stated that by listening to my videos, it helped them. Some of them <laughs> were like suicidal, some people, of them were depressed. People have said. Unfortunately, not every single depressed person out there that ever watched my YouTube videos, it helped them. Unfortunately, I've had to see friends as well as family buried due to suicide. Some Use happy Cabby and William Cardno references for everybody. Both people that Brett trashed in the past the and then claim they were friends posthumously. Like. themselves in the mirror anymore. I've had to live through that. I've had to see people go. And I'm still seeing it today on both sides. I'm not going to mention any names, but there's a lot of Christians out there that get very depressed. There's a lot of...
as well as Muslims, as well as pagans, pagans as well as Jews. Christians, Muslims, pagans, pagans Jews, pagans, Jews. It's weird because Brett is so obsessed with these two sides. Yeah, it's the atheist versus side. Side. Atheist versus Christian. Yeah. The final countdown. Da, da, da. Yeah, it's a big war, isn't it, Brett? So, uh, Brett, since you're, uh, you, you know, you, you, you like, uh, you're always kind of putting down an olive branch to Muslims, but you've kind of voted for, uh, well, I don't even know if you voted, but if you did, you voted for yeah, Trump. Yeah, I voted for Trump. Okay, so you voted for a candidate who's kind of a little bit of anti-Muslim rhetoric. I mean, not like, he's not saying, like, fuck all Muslims, but, he, you know, wanting a dip, Muslim travel ban, travel ban and, you know, shit like that. Dip, dip bullets in pig's blood and shoot them with that, kill their families. Kill the families of ISIS. Yeah. Right. I believe um, that he's going after the, the same people we have this issue with, terrorists, people who want to... The families violence. of them, though? You're okay with them going I, after the... Attacking I don't, their families. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't attack their families, No, I'm not, I'm not so good with that. And I and I hope that he doesn't go through with that kind of concept, killing innocent people. He probably won't. No, I don't think he will. Either. At least not openly. I mean, well, I mean, no, no, more, no more than yeah. anyone else in the government. Right. Drone has. strikes are already doing that, but oh yeah, let's, let's watch. Brilliant. Let's watch this one. The amazing atheist admits to sex with underage girls. Wow. Wow. Let's check it out. Another Brett Expo say. Yeah, of course, here's the drill. Uh, Brett, you know you spell parody wrong in your thing, right? Parody. Paradoy. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, so what on... <laughs> what on this <laughs> what are we missing here that makes what we do not fair use Brett? well fair use uh, if it causes any kind of harm to the original work that's uh, one no. thing that goes against it wrong 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 that's Dennis. not listed here wrong sir you're incorrect all right well. so 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 okay so if a movie comes out that's that uh that's bad and a critic writes a bad review of it it you know less people might go might pay to go see that movie but that's still fair use right there's and they can show s short clips and comment on them right there, there's a difference between criticizing a movie for things that are actually within the movie but if someone's deliberately misrepresenting or causing some kind of problem with the product or whatever that business is it could cause harm you mean like claiming that I'm a pedophile or TJ in this video has sex, sex with underage well, girls? I'm pretty, you mean something I'm pretty like that? Sure I remember. Yeah, 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 on, right. Right. Everyone knows I have sex with underage boys. I'm, I'm pretty, <laughs> don't fucking I'm, get it wrong. That's rough. I'm pretty sure uh, the video that you can play is the blog TV thing with fake Sagan, right? Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. It's um, your video. All right, but it, in the text, you have written that you had a relationship with a young person, but I did see her on Tumblr yeah, dude, recently. That dude, I told, I told some fucking far-fetched story about, like, I was dating a 13-year-old, but her fucking dad was in the military, so he was gonna, like, kick my, like... Yeah, I see I that. mean, maybe, maybe it was too obscure in the way I did it, but it was, like, a joke. And well, I, I didn't knows, know that. Like, around, I mean, like, all you have to do is watch the drunken peasants to realize I say fucking crazy shit nonstop. I know I that you say some very, say. I know that you're controversial and edgy, but you can't expect when people are watching on the outside to perceive or know what's going well, on in your mind whenever you right. put that out there. Well, wouldn't you want proof? Wouldn't that be the first thing you would go to is saying, is, well, is there actually proof that well, TJ's done this? I used to email you all the time, TJ, but you, you blew up on YouTube. It's hard to get through to you. Sure. Um, you know, but, uh, so, so, right, I, I, I actually, I, I actually, I actually, I actually don't have the same line, but I actually want to talk to you about that, Brett, because, like, honestly, like, the channels of communication between us, like, sometimes you do open them, but other times they're closed, blocked, you know, because you have this habit, yep. and it's the same thing, like, Brett, there just seems like a lot of instability in your life, because, like, you, you have inconsistent views, your views change a lot. Your attitude changes a lot. You quit, you come you back. You quit, you come back, you're very volatile in that regard. And then also, you're, you're constantly blocking me and then unblocking me and then blocking yeah. me and unblocking me. Like, what is with the volatility of your personality? Like, what is the instability in your life that just causes you to have these, like, wild swings back and forth? Because, I mean, like, I, I don't know. Maybe you're going to deny you do have them. But no, to me, no. I, I, I admit it. I've actually said in video as well as Hangouts, because people say, hey, bro, why... Why do you keep uninstalling Skype for? Why why do you remove this person? Blah blah blah. I get uh, I get tired of the bullshit. I get tired of uh, getting all these Skypes where people are like, Hey you nigger, hey faggot. Uh, are you uh, are, are you diagnosed, diagnosed as uh, as manic depressive? I, I'm I not trying to be mean about that. I do have depression. I've talked about manic, that. Manic though, man manic depression. depression. 
I don't want to get into all that. I just, I'll just put I got some. Okay, so you are a man. Okay, well, fine. That's fine. I mean, look, whatever. I have, I have major clinical depression and generalized anxiety disorder. I'm a fucking nutcase too. I'm not trying to out you in front of people. I'm just saying, like, it makes sense within the confines of you that you might have a manic depressive episode and decide, oh, the gun to king of the world, Manatee, Festus is the best place on the whole globe, it is the place that we all, you know, what was that song, TJ? Oh, Festus is the greatest place. The greatest place on earth. Well, you Festus see, is a summer place, place where we guys. all had our births. So, so from what? somebody, why somebody, you blah, 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 from here again and drive. I would quit. Festus is the place where we... Live and work and thrive. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm done. done. Let me get to the fucking song. It's a short song. You're a fucking you're a bull bitch, Scotty. Your camera sucks. What's going on? You're a bull bitch. What's your camera, Scotty? It's like, like constantly flipping. It doesn't matter. Quit fucking with your camera, Scotty. Would you like me to answer your question? Why do you, like you, you uh, want to fight with uh, Ben? Oh, hold on. That's that fight. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's let's play this video. Oh, wait, wait. Brett wanted to ask a question though. He's trying. He's been trying to get in. All right, go ahead. Well, you you just answered one of the the questions out there, Paul, earlier with the depression. Not going to get all, all into the diagnosis or whatever, but that is one of the reasons why I sometimes I'm feeling like I'm on top of the world and ready to do some videos, and other times you have that depression where you just, like you said in your own video, you just don't feel like uploading anymore. You just don't want to do it, and you think it's over. That's what happens. That's how I feel. That's what's going on inside. But go ahead, play it. Let's see it. Did you guys freeze? Did you guys freeze? Did you guys freeze? Did you guys freeze? I'm addicted to methamphetamine. Did you guys freeze? Since the age of three. Did you guys freeze? Emotionally crippled. Did you guys freeze? Mom and dad raped me. Homeless in the desert. Surviving on rats Did you guys free? and pee. I'm not Brett Keen. Did you guys free? At least I'm not Brett Keen. If your life you is full of failure and it's getting real you tough you now, your body's riddled with cancer, you your spouse has kicked you out, you your own family has disowned you. Where it all to be At least you're not Brett Keen At least you're not Brett Keen So if you're ever feeling down And need to put your mind at ease Take all that news, sit there, watch the games you love, and see. At least you're not Brett Keen. At least you're not Brett Keen. A child in Mosul awakens to the bomb. Gunfire through his window Tearing his little flesh from his little bones He lays there dying on the floor Accepting death as he bleeds And he thinks, and he thinks At least I'm not Brett Keen At least I'm not Brett Keen Did you guys freeze?